Okay, so hi guys. Um, so I want to show you guys um, a problem uh, about integration by parts that um, this is pretty much for those that are in Cal 2, if you're in Cal 2. Um, but I want to show you guys this problem that I did see on a YouTube video that somebody worked out using integration by parts. This is um, a very difficult problem, so um, I am going to kind of show you guys, like, the way that I did it and the way that, you know, the, the way I went about it. Um, so it's going to be kind of like a, it's going to be a very detailed video, uh, very explained video in detail. So this is more for those of you that really want to understand exactly how I got this the answer that I got for the problem instead of just showing y'all random formulas of and then you ask me well how did you get that right I want to show you guys kind of the my basic like my whole understanding and my whole way of pro you know thinking about this problem and working it out without just you know giving you formulas that um we don't even know how we got them you'll understand what I mean by by that when when we get to the problem. So this is the problem. Um, we want to use integration by parts to integrate this following expression. Now, um, the first thing that I did, and this is probably one of the main uh, things that I really um, want to emphasize, is that when you do integration by parts, and you always want to write the formula. And whether you color code or not, you want to go ahead and do that. Um, you want to go ahead and write it down anyways. Even if you use highlighters, it doesn't matter. But you want to make sure you understand what U and DV are. And also, like, what this formula is. Because this is the formula that we're going to use over and over in order to actually... Um, and we're also going to use U substitution. So I'm just going to put that out there. Um... So we're going to use kind of pretty much U substitution, integration by parts, um, and integration by parts to do this problem. So integration by parts says that when we have, you know, when we have the integral, the integral of U dV, this will be, and let let it let this be U, and let this let there be V, so U times V minus the integral of v du. So this is kind of the, this is the, um, how do I say it? Like the, the formula that we're going to use, but I really want to say that um, this is, you know, we have to know this formula. If you don't know this formula at all, you cannot do this problem. Okay, if they give it to you, that's great. But if you don't know like if you haven't done this formula with easier problems, then this problem is going to be very, very, very difficult. And you also have to know what is called U substitution because we're going to use U substitu substitution in this problem as well. So here we have the integral of x squared sine of 2x dx. And there is a, um, I like to write it this way. Let me actually know, let me do it. this. So log, it goes, actually, let me do it this way. Log inverse trig lie, actually no, lie algebraic. And then uh, trig and exponential. So this is what determines what u will be, right? And looking at our formula here, we have two things going on. We have a, an algebraic expression. So this is algebraic. And we have this part, which is trig. So looking at this, obviously, the one as I go down the list, there is no log, there is no inverse. There's an algebraic, and there's a trig. The first one that appears is going to be your u. So we obviously, you know, the, the highest one here that we 
the earliest one we come to is algebraic. So we know that x squared is going to be u. So u is x squared. And dv is going to be, so that means that dv must be this. Because really it's, you know, u and then this is this entire thing is dv, right? If you guys have not learned that in, in your calculus class, it's very important. All right, so that's basically the, the idea. So u is x squared and dv, so dv is going to be sine of 2x dx. Right. Now, um, now, so uh, let's see here. We know that, um, so we know that u is x squared and then dv is uh, sine of 2x dx. So we have to find du, because th that is why we're doing this formula. We need to find du as well as v on its own. So du is pretty easy. You're just taking the derivative of u with respect to x. So it's going to be 2x dx, right? And so, um, and so v is a little harder. So v, and this is where I was kind of heading to when I said, you know, we need to kind of use a little bit of um, a little bit of you know other other methods of integration. So v, we have to actually integrate it using u substitution. Uh, so v, let's just say we don't know what v is, right? We know that v is really just the integral of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just separately integrate sine of two x dx using u substitution. Okay. So um, we're going to do that using u substitution, and uh, we know that we can make u equal to, to 2x. So u can be 2x, and we can say that du, so du is 2dx. Right? And then we need to solve for dx. So let's just say here, and, and Let's just kind of do, um, I don't know, I'm going to do it this way where I say that du is, um, I'm going to say it's going to be 2, and um, I'm going to make dx like another color because, and you'll understand why I'm doing that, because you'll just, just follow along with me, <laughs> basically. Um... So let me kind of do, let me do a different color. Oh God. Let me do that one. Okay. So um, we have the integral of, and like I said, you're going to make it in terms of u. So it's going to be sine of u. And we need to solve for dx. dx, like I said, it's this part here. So dx... It's actually going to be du over 2. du over 2. Because we're basically, right, we're solving for dx here. Because we're trying to make everything in terms of u and du. So we have du. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and put that in. dx will be du over 2. So let's do that. And now... Notice that there's like kind of like this one half here. So really, this is the integral of one half sine of u du, right? And we can factor, we can take that out of the integral. So one half times the integral of sine of u du. And if you know from your, from your integral formulas, the integral of sine of u is actually going to be negative cosine of u um, plus c. However, so we have one half, and we're going to do times negative cosine of u, right? And what you're going to do is you're going to plug back in u into this. So we're going to say one half times negative cosine of 2x, okay? It's going to be negative cosine of 2x over 2, right? So that is what the integral of sine of 2x is. 
So we know that v was the integral of this, right? v was the integral of the sine of 2x, and we just we just worked it out. It's going to be negative cosine of 2x over 2. So we can put that in green. Okay. And now we are going to put go ahead and now finally substitute this. So this means that we're going to have the integral of u, which is x squared, the integral of u, and then dv. So we're going to go ahead and put like kind of these brackets here. dv is sine of 2x dx. So we're going to put sine of 2x dx. Let me go ahead and put it a little bit uh, shorter like this. So this is goes u, and then this is dv. And then this is going to be equal to uv, so it's going to be it's going to be x squared, so x squared u, u, and then v times v, so it's going to be again we're going to put use brackets here. We're going to say times negative cosine of 2x over 2. So I'm just kind of I'm labeling as I'm going along so that you guys understand exactly that I'm I'm literally following this integration by parts formula. Okay. And like I said guys, this problem it might take me a while. Okay, I'm I'm really trying to explain it detail by detail for those of you that really want to understand how this goes. So it goes u dv, so u v minus and you're going to do the integral, the integral of v. So it's going to be, so we know v is negative. It's going to be the quantity negative cosine of 2x over 2. So this is v. And then du. So du is 2x dx. So we're going to put another bracket. We're just going to put, and we're going to do it this way actually, hold on. we put another bracket, we're going to put times 2x dx, okay? And this is going to be du. So you kind of see how I'm kind of following along this formula. I'm going to rewrite the integral, and I'm going to say the integral of x squared and actually, let me kind of just, let me rewrite the formula. And now let's just kind of clean this up a little bit, right? We're going to clean up the right side a little bit. So we know that there's a, there's, we can kind of say that uh, the x squared and negative cosine of 2x becomes negative x squared. It's going to be negative x squared. Um cosine of 2x over 2 minus, and we're going to do the integral of, it's going to, and you're literally just algebraically multiplying this, right? So you're just going to say negative 2x cosine of 2x over 2 dx. And yes, I know. The 2x cancels out, right? Or the 2 cancels out, right? But again, I want to do it very slowly because I don't want to confuse anybody, okay? So this is x squared sine of 2x dx is equal to, so the integral of this is going to be negative x squared cosine of 2x over 2. And we're going to say minus negative 1 times the integral of 2x cosine of 2x over 2. Because think about it, there's a negative here and a negative here. I'm just putting it, I'm just taking that out, right? So this becomes the integral. So this is really what we have so far, right? Hopefully this makes sense, right? You're just, you're using algebra here to clean it up, right? Okay, so then this becomes the integral of x squared sine of 2x dx is equal to negative x squared cosine of 2x over 2. And this 
turns into positive, so it's going to be positive, so positive 1. So we don't really have to put 1 because it's being multiplied to this anyways. And then the 2 over 2 cancels out, so these 2 cancel out. It's going to be plus the integral of x cosine of 2x dx, okay? So that is kind of so far what we have here. Now, we need to look at this part. So we have to do integration by parts again. I am going to, um, so I'm going to do this separately, okay? This is where it gets pretty complicated because once we do this, we have to remember that we're only doing this so far because I want to do it separately because I don't want to do a lot of like algebra here. Um, or a lot, I'm not, not a lot of algebra, but like, I don't want to confuse anybody with what I'm doing, right? As well as myself, right? So just remember, we are doing this separately and we're not done with the problem. Once we finish this, we're not done with the problem yet, okay? So we're going to do the integral of x and, and you're going to use the same thing, light 8. So log inverse algebraic trig exponential. Okay. This would be, it's going to be, let's see here, hold on. So we have, we have x cosine of 2x dx. We know that so far what we have here, we don't have a log, we don't have an inverse, we do have an algebraic. So that is going to be what u is. So we're going to make, we're going to go ahead and say that this is x. And let me do it this way. If I do the integral of x cosine of 2x dx, this is going to be the integral, and again, we're going to, we know that we have an algebraic expression first, so we know that u will be x. It's going to be the integral of x. And then the other one, which is dv, will be cosine of 2x dx. Okay. Now, we're going to say, we're going to go ahead and say that oh, cosine of 2x dx, like this. And then this, so we know that it's going to look like that, right? And we're going to do the, the, the integration by parts formula again. So we know that this is u and this is dv. So we can kind of, I only did this to, you know. Okay, so this is what we're integrating right now. So we're going to use integration by parts. So we have u dv, uv, so it's going to be u. And we need to find v. v is, again, we're going to integrate cosine of 2x dx. It's really the integral of cosine of 2x dx. And we need to integrate that. I don't know if I already did that, though. Hold on. No, I didn't. I didn't. So... So it's the same thing, you're just going to use u substitution. So let u be 2x. We're going to do the integral of cosine of u. And then let du be 2dx. So du is 2dx. And let, let dx be du over 2. So we really, this will become du over 2. So really, we're going to have the we're going to have one half integral of cosine of u du, just like we did for sine of x, sine of two x. We're doing kind of the same thing here, but we're not. It's just like this, right? But we're doing it for for cosine this time. So now this will become one half times sine of two x, and then. This will be plus c, so 
really this will be sine of 2x over 2. We're not done, remember, because we said that we are going to put, um, how do I say it? We were, uh, we basically were looking for, um, for V. So we know that V, when we integrated this, V become, B, V ends up being sine of 2x over 2, okay? So it's going to be uv, so u, and then, so u dv, it's so uv, so u times sine of 2x over 2 minus the integral, and let me move this down because I feel as though this is becoming hard to understand. Let me kind of just do this and put that v was sine of 2x over 2, okay? Minus the integral of v, which is sine of 2x over 2, and then du, du, and I know I didn't write it down, but du is dx, so v du, so dx. This is going to be the integral of x cosine of 2x dx. So we don't even have to do this anymore. We just, we're going to go ahead and put like, we're going to say 1 half x sine of 2x. We're just rewriting it, this, minus 1 half sine of 2x dx, the integral, and we're going to say x cosine of 2x dx, the integral of this, is 1 half x sine of 2x minus 1 half times the integral of sine of 2x dx. We are going to use u substitution again over here for this to, to integrate it. So the integral, and I think I already did it though. I did do it. So that's why we have it right here. We ended up getting negative cosine of 2x over 2 for that. So you don't have to do it again, because if you already have it, you don't... If you do it again, you're just wasting time. So really, the integral of sine of 2x dx is negative cosine of 2x over 2, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, we're going to put this in for that. So, we end up getting that x, the integral of x, cosine of 2x dx, is equal to 1 half x sine of 2x minus 1 half times the quantity and remember what we said that this entire thing is going to be times the quantity negative 1 half times the quantity because we're, we're literally just get taking out that negative 1 half out of here negative 1 half times cosine of 2x Okay. Um, plus c. So this ends up being 1 half x sine of 2x. And we're going to we're going to distribute, we're going to multiply these two. So it's going to be plus 1 fourth cosine of 2x plus c. So this is what x, integral of x cosine of 2x dx is. So now that we have that, we can put it in, right? That is what that is what this is. So we know that it's going to be one. So it's going to be x sine of two x. So we we know that the integral of of x cosine of two x dx is the following. And I feel like I'm running out of space here, but let me just kind of put this in this entire thing 
it's going to be equal to what we put over here. So it's going to be x sine of 2x over 2. So it goes x. It's going to go... Actually, let me write it the way that I did it over here. 1 half x sine of 2x. So 1 half x sine 2x. Uh, plus 1 fourth cosine of 2x. Plus 1 fourth cosine of 2x. Okay. And again, this is being added to this. So really, this is negative x squared. So you can take the negative 1 half out of here. So negative 1 half cosine of 2x, or negative 1 half x squared cosine of 2x, like that plus one half x sine of two x plus one fourth cosine of two x. This is equal to x squared, the integral of x squared sine of two x dx. And this is exactly, this is our solution here, guys. This problem is very, very hard, okay? I know it was kind of all over the place, but you see that basically we really had to um, use integration by parts again, and then we have to use u -subs or u substitution to integrate the sine of 2x and the cosine of 2x, right? It would save you a lot of time to, um, to know those integrals, so I might just do another video doing this problem again, but without literally integrating i will just keep this in mind so if they do give you these formulas here of co of the integral of cosine of 2x and the sine of 2x you don't have to do all this stuff over here because you're already going to have it it'll save you a lot of time if you already have those integrals but i really wanted to show you guys how to do it if you actually are needing to integrate sine of 2x and cosine of 2x because, um, well, yeah, I mean, if you don't, in case you don't know the integrals of those by heart, like for the double angle ones, the double angle identities, then you can use other methods. You can use use substitution to get those. So that was the whole point of this video, and that this video was to just show you guys that in case you're ever, this is for those of you, in case you're ever stuck, you can use, if you know your use substitution well, and you know how to integrate the double angle identities very well, you can use that to your advantage to solve, to, to, to finish this problem up. So with that being said, guys, um, that is it for this video. I know it was kind of all over the place, I would say. But um, I really wanted to show you guys, and um, please let me know if this does help. And also, thank you so much for watching, guys. And please like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.